Hey guys, it's Loz and Noofy. Guess what? Just Noofy. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video today. I'm just dressed in my work gear actually, so sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video around a tag. I wasn't personally tagged, but Winnie B L V had, um, and I'm just reading it, my mini bags mighty bag tag. And what she said is, anybody that's watching, just assume you've been tagged. So, you know what? I'm going to assume I was tagged. So, um, thank you, Winnie B from LV. However, I do believe there's other people that she was tagged from. I'm sorry if I don't mention you because I don't know who that was exactly. So, I'm just going to um, do a quick video about that tag. So, um, can I just say thank you to everybody who has subscribed, we're at 134, I know it's very tiny, but I really appreciate everybody that has subscribed and some really lovely comments that have been left, um, but if you are watching this and you are thinking about trying to help us out, please like, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Um, anything would be great to help us grow this little um, Aussie baby channel. Okay, so let's get into today. Okay. So I'm going to come a bit closer, which you all know I hate doing because of my neck turkey, neck turkey. Anyway, here I am. So what are my mighty little bags? Well, I probably am one that tends to enjoy a smaller bag more than the larger bag. Um, I don't know why that is. I just do. And I think part of that reason is because a lot of people worry about what their mobile phone can fit and because mine's a foldable. Um, I can fit it in anything, which means that I can have a little bag. Probably, if I'm thinking about this, the big bag-wise, I do have a really big Oriton bag, and we might do a different video and tag Winnie back for what's your mighty big bag. Um, I like that YSL one, but it's not for me, but I like it on other people. But my bigger bag is probably the bucket bag um, that I use, and my Riverside, which everybody knows I love. That is my love bag. Anyway... Let's talk about the little bags. So I was thinking about this in respect of, well, how little? I don't have any of micro bags, although I really, I don't own any Fendi. And I watch Dale's from Dale's Addiction all the time. And I'm like, I really need a Fendi bag because she influences me to want one. <sighs> but I haven't bought one yet. And if I did buy one, I'd probably buy the micro because I think they're just so adorable. So I don't have a micro bag. However, is this considered a bag? I don't know. Sorry, I'm dropping my bags everywhere. You can't see. Down here, dropping bags. So I'm going to go back to the little mini pochette. To me, to me, this is a mini bag because I use it as a, a catch-all. But I also, as you will have seen in all my videos, I put the long strap on this. And if I stand back, I wear it as a mini bag. So I'm going to say this is one of the most used pieces I own. I love the mini pochettes. I would continue buying these even though it's crazy price increase. I know this is the Christmas one, but just in general. And you might be asking, why do you need more than one? Just like them. Just want to, okay? Just like it. Sorry. Just like it. So that's my first one, okay? That's my first one. And just remembering, this is a mini bag to me because I can fit my phone in it. Fit my phone in all the bags. If you can hear my dogs barking, I'm really sorry. They're kind of just gone crazy today. That's all I can tell you. Um, my other mini bag is not a designer bag. It is not a Louis Vuitton, but I've had this little bag. Let me just get my face out. And this little bag is not a luxury bag as such by a label. However, I just love it. And of all the bags that I've kept that aren't a design house, if you like, this is one. And it is little. I don't know if it looks big on the picture. I hope there's nothing in there. It's still satin inside. You probably can't see it because it's all black. So, you know, what are you going to see? It's got a little pocket in there. But again, on the mighty bags, I love the blinginess. I love that it's easy and it just clips on. I'm a top handle kind of girl. So here I am. Obviously, I'm not dressed up. This is my work outfit. But if I was dressed up, this is such an easy bag to take. Um, and as usual, my phone boop, fits in any bag and every bag. And to be honest, this tiny little bag, it is mighty because it fits so much, you wouldn't believe. And it is super duper duper pretty. Goes with everything. And I don't actually have any black bags. I've got an opening un unboxing coming. Ooh, that's going to be a black bag. But besides that, I don't ha really have any. I have a big Oriton one and this. 
love it so that's that's my other little bag my other mighty bag that is a designer label um and you would have seen me you know look at this before so go and check that video out but this is my little versace i know it looks big but it's actually a very tiny bag um it's got and i'm just opening it it's got the longer straps so you can you know again because i tend to wear bags like this but you can actually put this longer strap on and it can then be a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag um and again we all know i love pink I just do I love gold hardware this bag was so well made and go and check out my other video but the the purchase of this bag makes me so happy because I went into the Versace shops a long time ago I had this for about a year I think and I seen this in white and I've, I don't have a white bag so I was like oh I'm gonna buy it in white and I think at the time Australian dollars it was about two and a half thousand and I just happened to be on Versace's website just checking it out thinking eh, you wouldn't believe it this exact little bag was on the Versace website for a thousand dollars so it was this sale and I didn't even know Versace had sales and I was like that can't be right that won't be true because I've just literally looked at that bag a few days ago so I was like all right well it says it is so I'm gonna press pay send it was came to me so quickly so beautifully packaged it come from Versace they sent it from Italy and I got it within a few days would you believe and it was just perfect and I just love this bag I don't know if you can see that so very much I must admit I, I hardly ever use the strap but it's good that it has it right so if you talk about a mighty bag again again I know it's my phone but let me just pop my phone in there look how much room I have for everything else but yet it's super tiny so cute so well made I don't personally um, think much of the Versace logo if it's too much or in your face but in this which is funny because I love the Louis Vuitton in your face anyway um this one not so much in your face but I don't mind that it blends in with the bag and I think it looks really cute and very classy and it's just adorable so that is what's that my third fourth I don't know and you'll probably guess but my last sorry not last second last my second last bag no I've got three more I'm sorry I don't know what I'm talking about I've got three more little bags what I consider little bags this was a Kate Spade and again I have done a video on this as well I adore this bag I don't know if it's called little it's small but it's not micro um but again it's got that's just got the crossbody and it's got the little is that gusset gullet gussets whatever they're called on the side so things don't fall out it's nice and light um inside and I like that because I hate going into dark bags trying to find things. Um, and I just adore this bag. I adore it for crossbody. And it, for me, it carries a lot. And also, I can do the traditional, you know, what I tend to do. Or this one with the strap. It's a, cro it's a great crossbody. And I think it's so summery. And I just adore, adore this bag. I just do. So that's another one. So on the Mighty Bags. I want to know what you think. Is this bag considered small? Small to me. But it's the Speedy 20. And it's funny this design. I've seen so many reviews about this bag and people either love it or hate it is what I've come to determine. I personally love it. So I was watching somebody's YouTube channel the other day. Um, Jessie, Jessie Style is it? She's Australian and I really love her and I love how knowledgeable she is and I love everything. But I think my opinions sometimes differ from her and that's fine because that's not gonna stop me watching her. I love her, I think she's brilliant. However, I know that she reviewed this on stage and said she didn't like it yet. This was my most loved print. So it just goes to show we're all different but we can respect each other's views and I love her so much. I also bought the matching purse for this. So to me, this is a little bag. Um, I wanted a speedy, I don't like that it's black inside, um, I wanted a speedy, always wanted a speedy because it was a traditional Louis Vuitton bag and I love Louis. I must say, I don't really love the shape if I'm honest, it feels very, very doctor bag and I'm not a doctor. Um, I do like this one and I like that it's mini but I probably wouldn't own this in a larger one. 
Having said that, I'm very, very, very interested in an overnight bag and I am looking at the, I think it's the Bandelier 35 and to see if that's big enough for an overnight bag. I tried the, as you would also know, I did buy the, um, uh, it's in another video, the um, Neverfull in the Spring in the City. It's one of the only bags I actually sold. I loved it to look at. I used it once and I found it really annoying. I found it annoying that you can't zip it closed, your things can fall out. I just, I think the Neverfull's not for me, even though I like watching people. When I see someone with a Neverfull, I go, oh, she's got a Neverfull. But then when I had it, I was like, no, just no. So anyway, don't know why I'm going on about that. This is my other one. So again, I adore this one. Probably don't use it as much as I should. I like this with a pair of jeans and casual, if I'm honest. Um, and I like it crossbody when I've just got casual clothes on. Like, yeah, just a pair of jeans and a plain jumper or a t-shirt or whatever. I don't know why that is, I just do. I just feel like it's my, goes with my runners, my white runners. So last, last, I could have chosen a few others, but this is what I chose. Last but not least, Again, funny enough, I know this bag's been done to death, so you can guess, start guessing. Did you guess? What's been done to death? What does everybody say? Oh, not again. I wonder if you guessed. Comment below if you did. Anyway, I again, the other day, was watching Jessie, Jessie's style, I'm sure that's what it is. I'll link below. And she was saying that she doesn't like this bag, she doesn't think it's worth the money, and I'm like, I'm not gonna stop watching you because of different comments. But for me, I love this bag. I will love this bag until the day I die. I love this bag. I am so glad I bought it. I will never sell it. And I use it dressed up, dressed down. I use it all the time. And I absolutely love it. I probably wouldn't buy another one because I've got one, right? And I'm only going to use this one. However, ta -da! we all know it. That's why I said it's done to death. It's the Prada re-edition. And for me, mine's in white. I'll step out. Um... I've done a review on this bag. I love this bag. I love it for so many reasons. Um, Jess was saying the crystals come off, and that, but mine hasn't. Mine's perfect and I've used it and I'm rough. So for me, well, this is stuffed at the moment with red things, which I probably shouldn't have read on my white satin. I should really think about that. I should think about that. Um, yes, I'd better think about that and get rid of it. Anyway, this, this to me packs a punch. This is a mighty mini bag in my, because it's not a big bag, right? Let me, let me step it. This is not a big bag, but it's so bloody good. <laughs> bloody Aussies, but bloody good. I love this bag. Every time I take this bag out, I get comments. People love it or they hate it. I don't know, but I love it and I'm the one using it. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a little bag and it, Definitely packs a mighty punch. I love this bag. So I understand. I understand completely that people are sick of seeing it, but not everybody is. So for those of you that are not sick of seeing it, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Sorry, crazy and newfie again. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. There probably are other mini bags that I have because I do like smaller bags. I am going to say back to Winnie B, I don't know how to tag, I'm going to try and message her and let her know. On Same as what Winnie said, if anybody's watching this and they want to do a tag, I'd love for you to, you know, say Loz and Nufi's channel. And um, I'm going to do well, what is your big bag or what you consider is a big bag that you love. What punches, you know, what, what provides... What is it? A mighty punch? A mighty... What's a mighty big bag for you? And what does that mean? Is it an overnight bag? Is it a travel bag? Is it something that you use for work? Is it just because you want to be, you know, um, boss? <laughs> you know, what's what bag do you consider? So, just give an example. Other people might not consider... I'll put this Prada down. Um, the bucket is a big bag. But for me, relative to me, this is a big bag because I'm not used to using... Um, big bags so i'll do another video where i do that um but if anybody wants to to do that please mention laws and newfie just newfie um all right guys i'm going to leave it there and stop banging on but i hope you're having a great day please like subscribe help us out and thank you winnie b at lv for um tagging well everybody but i just took it on as me you're just talking to me right it was just about me and you me and you 
Okay. All right, everyone. Bye.